This is a step-by-step -step guide for the Magellan Merromax kit. Gloves should always be worn when handling blood products. Wear sterile gloves when handling any items on the sterile field. Instruct facility staff on the following steps. Position the Magellan on a flat, stable surface, plug it in, and power it on. Open doors 1 and 2. Rotate each plunger driver to the right and pull down to fully extend. Rotate the caddy so its opening is toward the front and in line with the hook. Open the Merromax packaging. Remove the aspirate and deliver packs. Set the accessory pouch aside. Remove the concentrate pack. Do not over tighten any connections. All connections should be only hand tightened. Wear sterile gloves when handling items on the sterile field. Open the aspirate pack to the sterile field. The label on the tray has a handle for ease of transfer to the sterile field. Open the deliver pack to the sterile field. The label on the tray has a handle for ease of transfer to the sterile field. Wear sterile gloves when handling items on the sterile field. Peel open the aspirate and deliver packs. Remove the clear and yellow cups from the deliver tray. Label the clear cup ACDA. Label the yellow cup heparin 1000 units per ml. ACDA is supplied in the concentrate pack. Obtain a 10 to 20 ml syringe and an 18 gauge hypo. Access the ACDA by peeling open both layers of the pouch. The ACDA bag should not be transferred onto the sterile field. Use the hypo and syringe to draw up 10 milliliters of ACDA. The correct ACDA volume is 5 milliliters per 30 ml backlock syringe. Reserve the extra ACDA for subsequent cycles for the same patient or point of care. The ACDA membrane is sterile for the first puncture only. Subsequent punctures of the bag's membrane should be preceded by cleansing using an alcohol wipe. The facility must provide 10 milliliters of heparin 1000 units per ml. Transfer ACDA into the clear cup on the sterile field. Transfer heparin into the yellow cup on the sterile field. Remove the filter from the aspirate tray and clamp the dark blue clamp. Remove and reserve the light blue vent cap from the end of the filter with the clamp. Lure connect the stopcock to the open distal end of the filter. Release the plunger seal on the 60 ml BD syringe. Lure connect the 60 ml BD syringe to the bottom port on the stopcock. Obtain a 12 ml syringe from the deliver tray. Lure connect the 12 ml syringe to the side port on the stopcock. Label the 12 ml syringe with heparin 1000 units per ml.
choose a 30 ml backlock syringe from the aspirate tray. Pull back and or rotate the plunger so the post is in with the steps. Draw up 10 milliliters of heparin 1000 units per ml into the backlock. Pull the plunger all the way down to coat the entire inside of the syringe with heparin. Plunge all of the air out of the backlock. Remove and reserve the stylet from the jam sheety trocar. Lure connect the heparin containing backlock to the jam sheety trocar. Flush the heparin through the jam sheety trocar and back into the yellow cup. Replace the stylet back into the jam sheety trocar and set aside. Coat the inside of the second backlock with heparin. Pull back and or rotate the plunger so the post is in with the steps. Plunge all of the air out of the second backlock. Remove and reserve the remaining light blue vent cap from the filter assembly. Lure connect the heparin containing backlock to the exposed filter end. Hold the filter upright and push the heparin into the filter chamber. Disconnect the backlock and replace the blue vent cap. Rock the filter assembly back and forth to coat well, then set the filter assembly aside. Draw up 5 milliliters of ACDA into each 30 ml backlock syringe. Plunge out any air and set aside. Open the concentrate pack. Remove the separation chamber and a 10 ml BD syringe. Set the 10 ml syringe aside and open the separation chamber. Load the separation chamber into the Magellan. Close door one. Throughout processing, take care to maintain the sterility of all syringe tips and exposed tubing ends, especially if the separation chamber will be used for more than one cycle. Open the 10 ml BD syringe packaging and break the plunger seal. Remove and reserve the blue cap from the shorter length of chamber tubing. Lure connect the 10 ml BD syringe to the exposed end of chamber tubing. Place the 10 ml syringe in the left receptacle and attach the plunger driver. Wear sterile gloves when handling items on the sterile field. Receive the BMA containing backlock syringes from the physician. Rock back and forth to ensure thorough mixing of ACDA and BMA. Set syringes aside, obtain the filter assembly, rotate the stopcock off to the 60 ml syringe. Open the dark blue clamp. Or
Orient the filter assembly so it is upright with the vent cap up and the 60ml syringe down. Draw the heparin out of the filter and into the attached 12ml syringe. Rotate the stopcock off to the 12ml heparin containing syringe. Remove the blue vent cap and remove the white cap from the BMA containing VACLOC. Lure connect the VACLOC syringe to the proximal end of the filter. Holding the filter upright, gently push, pull the BMA from the 30 ml syringe to the 60 ml syringe. Ensure a steady flow of BMA from the filter into the distal tubing to prevent air from entering the tubing. Repeat for the second backlock syringe. Rotate the stopcock off to all ports and disconnect the 60 ml syringe from the stopcock. More than one marrow filtration may be necessary. Filtration can occur on or off the sterile field. Take care to maintain the sterility of the filter assembly. This is as simple as placing a new 60 ml syringe onto the stopcock. Cap the syringe containing the filtered BMA for transfer off the sterile field. Receive the filtered and capped BMA containing 60 ml syringe from the sterile field. Remove the cap from the syringe. Remove and reserve the blue cap from the longer length of chamber tubing. Lure connect the filtered BMA containing syringe to the exposed end of chamber tubing. Place the 60 ml syringe in the right receptacle and attach the plunger driver. Evenly floss the tubing into the pinch valve. Close door 2, select your desired volume, and press start. When processing is complete, you may open door 2. Rotate and release the plunger driver from the 10 ml syringe. Obtain a new sterile lure tip syringe and some sterile syringe caps. Open the new syringe and release its plunger seal. Lift the 10 ml syringe from its receptacle and disconnect it from the chamber tubing. Connect the new syringe to the chamber tubing to maintain the sterility of the setup. Place a sterile cap on the concentrate containing syringe. Rotate this syringe back and forth to resuspend the cells. Wear sterile gloves when handling items on the sterile field. Remove the red cup from the deliver tray and set it near the edge of the sterile field. Receive the concentrate into the red cup for clinical application. Draw the concentrate into a 12 ml syringe from the deliver tray.
take note of how much volume of concentrate you have. The physician will apply the concentrate. 